Hey folks, Rayno here. Uh, in one of the, uh, the last video, uh, this making a simple sword, we're just gonna on this video, we're gonna just apply textures to the sword we've made. Uh, you can actually download the blend file and the three textures I'm gonna be using for this. In the description below, there'll be a link. Just go download that file, and you'll get all all of what you need. Now let's start. First of all, we're in kind of a grayscale mode now. We need to be in a shader mode, which is if you click the circle right by the grayscale, you'll see the shader mode and everything will turn white. We're going to be working with three textures, the handle, uh, the blade guard, and the blade. But before we do that, Let's select everything and then we need to scale we need to set the scale on it. So let's go to object, apply, rotation, and scale. And that'll help us out a lot when we're applying these textures. Alright, first let's go let's start with the handle. We'll just add a wood texture to that. I'll just select the handle, go down to our material properties here. I'm gonna add a new material and we're going to go down to the base color, open that up, and we're going to select an image texture. It's going to turn black, and just because there's no texture on it, we need to open it up here. Open, and we'll select the wood texture. Open that up, and you see that? That actually looks pretty good without any uh, more manipulation we need to do to it. The next one will be the blade guard. Do the same thing here. We'll add a new material. Go to the base color. Add an image texture. Open and we'll go with the copper texture here. And that looks good enough. Alright, the next, the blade, we're going to have to do some UV mapping on it because I've got an image of a sword blade and let's check that out. We need to go to the UV editing mode where it's going to split the screen up here. We're going to select the blade and go to our edit mode and select it all with A key and that's kind of weird looking so what we had to do is unwrap this so let's go down to here where it says UV we're going to do the smart UV project and I'm going to leave everything default except the island margin we're just going to turn that all the way up to 1.000 hit OK and there that looks more like a sword now let's find our Let's apply, let's go back to the default, and let's do the same thing. We're going to add a new material texture. We'll go to New, Base Color, Image Texture, and then we're going to Open, and I've got these blades here. A, a picture of some sword blades. Open the image. And you see it kind of looks a little weird. So let's go into our UV editing mode. And let's go down here and select the image we're going to work with, which will be the Viking Swords. And what we're going to do is we're just going to just select, make sure we're in the face mode here. We'll just select this part the blade which will be the top part I guess let's just we'll select all of this let's move it over to which blade we want and as you can tell in this side of the screen it's moving with us let's see let's take this one I'm trying to try to line it up here I'm going to scale it down using the S key just a little bit all right I'm going to take this up I'm just selecting these three here. Then let's just select the top 
and move it down and see that looks really good let's do the other thing or the other side here which will be the bottom side here we'll just select these faces we want to manipulate right it's this one here and let's just move it over we'll do the same thing we did last time move this one down and select these and move these up and there we go we got that side now the, the edges here I'm going to hit the period key to zoom in we need to do those too so let's select just the edge on this side and you see it here we'll just move it over to here and we'll scale it down to where it's just on that white part do the same thing for this side I think there's just three faces here or two faces maybe yeah no it's three here's one and we'll take these and do the same thing we'll just move it to the same place scale it down and let's go back to the default mode and I would call that done hope that helped uh, thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time